Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope I don't look too crazy, but today I'm going to do a get ready with me. And so I'm just going to be sitting here. I'm getting ready for my best friend's birthday celebration night. I guess we're just going to go out um, to downtown and we're just going to have some fun at this bar. Very chill night. So I'm just going to show you kind of like the makeup that I do for like not a fancy night, but like a chill going out night look you know what i'm saying catch my drift i don't know and then we're just gonna be talking so yeah let's get started all right where is my vaseline i finally got my ends cut today oh my god they were dying like they were they were thirsty thirsty so finally got those cut and then i plan on doing a balage or however you say that um sometime soon but so anyways so I kind of wanted to talk about discovering yourself and you know we're all like working towards it either either you're working towards a goal or like god I'm so red either you're working towards a goal or you are just living day to day living day by day, or you want to be discovered. If you're just, if you want to be discovered in some way, then you need to first discover yourself, right? Or when you're working towards a goal, you need to really find out who you are. You need to find out your true self. I feel like I've been discovering myself these past months because I finally feel free I finally feel like myself and like I and like I can be myself wherever I am and whoever I'm with and I feel like I've been trying I've been finding myself these past months and it feels so good you guys have no idea like my first years of college like high school graduation my graduation and my first years of college I was still trying to find myself and I realized that all it took was for me to be honest with myself it's simple as that you have to be honest with yourself are you really doing the things that you're that you love or are you doing the things that you're doing right now because everyone's doing it or somebody's telling you to do it. And once I really found out who I really was, I was I was able to take action. I was actually able to take action. Not going to not saying that it's still going it's going to be easy to do with what you love. But it's way easier in the sense that it's coming out naturally, you know? You're not forcing any feelings, any likes, any actions. It's all coming from you. And you're in control. I'm trying to get my, uh, my brush. So, that's what I wanted to talk about. Are you really doing the things that you're doing right now? Are the things that you're doing right now making you happy? And if you're not really doing anything specifically, what is it? What is that one thing that's going to take you past your limits? I have learned so much when it comes to my character. I have been able to accept with coming with discovering yourself comes also with accepting your flaws. You have to accept your flaws. You really do. I used to be so hard headed. I used to be so hard headed and just so ignorant. I thought I knew it all. And I thought I could trust everybody in my path. 
I thought everybody could understand me. I think this is all this inspo is coming from the advice to my my younger self video, which I will link up right here if you guys want to watch that. That was like the most emotional video I've ever done. Because that's another thing. I'm not emotional. I mean, I, I used to say that I was not emotional. I'm not an emotional person. And I used to hide my emotions all the time. All the time. I hated people being emotional with me. I hated being emotional, especially around other people. I hated being emotional around other people. I hated showing that side of myself. Um, and I just, I don't know why I felt that way. For what? Why be emotional? Why be an emotional person? But what I realized is that I, it's not that I'm a, an emotional person, but I'm a freaking human being. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not, I thought I was just, this cold-hearted person and that that was the best way to be now don't get me wrong that doesn't mean that I didn't love the people in my life that was completely that's the completely besides the point emotional just when it comes to feeling having feelings in certain situations um you know caring about different things and I used to be like ah like, that was my favorite thing to say. Just, whatever, you know? I didn't like to feel emotions. It's not that I didn't feel them, though. I just didn't show it. I didn't like showing my emotions. So I would cry by myself. And that comes with trying to show people that I'm good and I'm perfect when I'm not. So... So another, a little trick that I use is um, when your eye brushes are not like, they're not dirty, but they do have some pigment on them from like past um, eyeshadow makeup that you've done. I just take a paper towel and I just very gently though, um, just go like this until I feel like it's cleaned enough. I don't know if this is good for the brushes, but you know what? It's been good for me and it doesn't damage my brushes at all. So if it... I mean, you you can take this tip if you want. I'm not saying that it's great and it works, but it works for me. Okay, you see? Clean. So that's just what I did, always. I just acted like an, I wasn't an emotional person. So I accepted that I am emotional and it is okay to be. Everyone feels things. We just, we have to show them. Some things should be kept inside. A lot of feelings shouldn't be kept inside. So I've accepted my flaws. I've also accepted that I try every, I, I, I try to make everything perfect. I want it all to be perfect. I accepted that I always tried to please everybody. I've learned that I can't. I thought people, all people think the same way. I was wrong about that too. And so it's just been a roller coaster of like finding myself, accepting my flaws, and trying to be a better person. That's been my journey. So I think the biggest thing, though, is pride. And people have to accept their flaws. Forget about pride. Pride is just you thinking about what other people are thinking about you or what they think about you. You know, forget about that. You should have pride when it comes to, like, believing in yourself. But I think pride is more like you worrying about what other people think. So sometimes... You got to let that go and just be you. So like I said in my advice to uh, my younger self video, I, I never stood up for myself, ever. I've ne I never stood up for myself. And I'm going to...
I never stood up for myself ever. And I guess in high school, we're so different in high school. I don't judge anybody anymore if I see somebody from high school. I don't judge. We're, we're such different people in high school that it's stupid to judge people and think they're the same people um, from high school. But I was always... so like worried about what people thought that I gave them the power to judge me and kind of like figure out who I am you know and so I let people run over me all the time so that's what I did and now after, after graduation, I would say that I started kind of like, you know, being a little bit more stronger. I started being stronger and um, I now, I do stand up for myself. I, I just took away some very toxic friendships and um, sometimes though, I have failed. Sometimes in some situations I have tried recently to stand up for myself and it's just made things worse. <laughs> sucks but you know what I tried and so then I learned that some situations you just have to let go so it's all about learning from the experiences figuring out what you did wrong and then trying not to repeat that again now don't I just I got to the point where I was just like you know what sometimes I find myself Sometimes I find myself kind of like regretting what I did or maybe like trying, like starting to self-doubt myself and like all these things, thinking that I'm not good enough or that I, I really don't know what I'm doing, I'm stupid, you know. But in the end, if you just see it as a learning experience and that it's normal to mess up and that you had a good heart throughout whatever happened and if you still have a good heart, don't kill yourself over it you know I think that's the most important thing even if it's if even if you like made a mistake if you had a good heart in whatever you tried to do that didn't end up going well you are okay you know I think that what's in the heart matters always the most but you do have to learn that some people don't care if you have a good heart <laughs> some people don't care if you had good intentions some people just don't care and sometimes that means that they're rude sometimes they that means that they're, they're not rude they just they don't care simply put like that and I thought there people didn't exist that people those people didn't exist but there are people there that are really that they just don't care seriously like it's it's, at, it's simple as that and so I was still good enough to think that the people like that didn't exist but they do but they freaking do the most important thing is to hold don't hold grudges either Whoever did you wrong, anything in your life, just don't hold grudges. Because I think that's the most unhealthiest thing is to hate or have hatred in your heart or to hold a grudge. For what? If things don't go the way that you wanted them to and if somebody did you wrong, if there's no fixing it, why hold a grudge? Just let it go. When I think about this because I... I have such, I have come such a long way, I have no idea. But you know what, I needed something like this, like YouTube, to get me to be myself. And I will 100% be myself all the time on here, like 100%. If one day I'm too like, hee hee, and the other day I'm a little bit more mellow, that's just because I am like that really in life. Like in reality, I have my ups and downs. So it's not that one day I decide to be fake and I'm on it and I'm like, oh, no, it's just that's exactly how I am. If one day, if one day I feel like being all annoying and like, like very perky, that's how I'm going to be. It's just how it naturally happens that way. So great to just be sure of yourself. It's like amazing. I ended up learning that yes, it's important to stand up for yourself, but not in every situation. 
and some situations you just have to let go. So I've learned that, and you know, it's all it's as you, if you see every experience you go through as a learning experience, and not really don't hold grudges or don't dwell on what happened, whatever situation you were just put through. If you just do that, you will be okay. Because it's all about learning from the experiences. We're going through experiences all the time. Look, I love to talk. What I mean by that is just I like to have my opinion on everything. And I will never, ever, ever stop being that way. Because that's just what makes me me. And if some people don't like it, of course, you have to know that some people are, some people are not going to like your personality just because they don't. Whether it's because they can't relate to it or because they really just don't like it. And that's okay. And that's what I have, to, I have learned as well. Some people are just not going to like your personality. And that's okay. And so I just like to talk. I love to talk about things. And if I'm annoying, too bad. Just don't talk to me, you know? I also used to get offended a lot. When people wouldn't want to listen to me or stuff. Like, no, girl. Don't worry about it. Not everyone is going to like you. So don't ever stop being yourself because somebody is doesn't, you know, doesn't approve or somebody doesn't like it. You know what? No. As long as you have a good heart and you're doing the things truly because you love them and you are not, you know, if, if you're just all doing all the good things, you know, then don't worry about what other people have to say because not everybody is perfect. So not everybody, so you don't have to take anybody seriously when they judge you or when they criticize you whether now if it's somebody that you know you care about that you know you trust that's different but people who are just judging you or criticizing you just because they feel like it and people who don't really know you just don't care just don't care and i have learned i think that's like what really defines how how I've changed is that I just don't care anymore. I cared I care I used to care way too much. I cared way too much. And I just don't anymore. I just it's not that I don't care, but I just now know what to care about and what not to care about. I don't waste my energy anymore on things that are just not worth it. On things and people that are not worth it. do the rest of the face yay all right i'm gonna be using my l'oreal infallible my one and only because this is just amazing when you're like sweating and you're out it's matte it feels light on the skin just great but yeah and like this is the only foundation that matches me because i'm tan right now And when you're younger, you feel like people are superior to you and that they're so different. But really, everybody's working towards a goal in life. Everyone's working. Everyone's hustling. Why compare yourself? Why? You know, there's no point in comparing yourself. And there's no point in seeing anybody superior than you. Now, of course... You have to I think that instead of comparing yourself you should be cheering others on and it's true we're caught up with so many different things that are not important we should be helping each other you know whether it's a friend that's you know starting a new business or just you know starting their new talent and they decide to show it and put it out on social media we should be cheering them on and and supporting that instead of all the other stupid things that we really don't that really don't matter like celebrities and their drama why are we caring so much about that we should be helping each other we should be helping each other get 
to kind of where celebrities are and then do the different thing, the opposite of what they're doing, you know, put something out good into that world, you know, which I mean, a lot of celebrities are, don't get me wrong, but most of them aren't. And we should be trying to get people to get the, that big voice in order to change the world and make it a better place. We should be empowering each other and not putting anybody down. And then also caring about what's important. So that's what I say. That's what I say. And so along the way, I have also found out my true passions. And it's a bunch of passions. And I'm still trying to figure out the one that actually makes me the most happiest. I think I found it, which is like talking, <laughs> inspiring others, and motivating others to be great, trying to make the world a better place. But through that, I have a lot of other different little passions that I won't give up because... Why, you know? Why stick to one thing? But then I want them all to connect in, in some way. So kind of like right now, I love makeup and I'm sitting here doing my makeup but also talking to you guys and inspiring, motivating you guys and just and talking. So, you know, that's what I'm working on. It's okay to be inspired by other people but make sure that you're always unique and doing what makes you different from other from everybody else you know we can all have diff, you know similarities in the sense that we all are gonna like different things we might all have you know different likes when it comes to music or style but what makes you different and use that and use that like to the fullest So find out what makes you, you, and explode it. Make it huge. Huge. I don't, I don't, I don't have to bronze up that much with this foundation. I love it. What makes you, you? And once you start using what makes you unique, whether it's for success or for pleasure, you will see a difference in your life. You will see a whole 180, 360, whether it's physical or whether it's just emotional. You know, I, for right now, what I feel different and what has changed 360, like whole 360, is my life. My, 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 not my life physically, but emotionally, how I feel about myself, how I do things. You know, my thoughts, my point of views, it's all just done a whole 360. Now, I'm not, I haven't changed who I am, but the way that I go about how I am and what I like and how, you know, what I do, how I go about those things is what has changed. And it's great. You just have to be open to it and pray, pray a lot. Whatever it is, I always, I have, you know, if you pray, whatever, whoever you pray to, however you pray, if you don't pray then just have hope but I pray and I've always prayed for guidance always always prayed for guidance in life you know I think that's the, the, the strongest thing that you can pray for is guidance because without guidance you won't see clearly like a, I've also appreciated the friends that really see me for who I am and know who I am way more. Like in high school, I used to be friends with people that really didn't know who I was and I used to be different around them. And then those same friends that did know who I was and were actually truly there for me, you know, through everything because they truly cared about me are still with me right now and they're the best friends ever and all I need is those two I have a lot of friends but like I'm talking about best friends people that are
constantly with, the people that I constantly, you know, tell about my life. I have a lot of friends. I just don't. I just have like the two best friends that I trust with everything. I'm gonna mascara today because I do not want to have to take it off. The thing about going out too, especially when you're gonna drink, I'm not gonna drive and drink, but you're gonna, you know, you're gonna drink. You don't want to put that much makeup on because you don't want to sleep with your makeup on, but you still want to be able to take it off and have the energy to take it off. <laughs> so, all right, I think we're good. Oh wait, the lips. <laughs> Am I gonna do an eyeliner? I don't know. I think it's a little late for that because I just did my freaking. Let's try it. Let's try to do an eyeliner. I'm gonna be using my Milani Amore. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my talk, my topic, the, cho the topic that I chose. If you guys have any questions and comments on what I talked about today, I would love to hear it. Share your stories, share your journey on discovering your true self. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.